welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Brittany and in today's video we are going to be talking about fashion which is one of you guys' favorite subjects on my channel and definitely one of my favorites so um, I wanted to bring to you guys this video it's probably going to be one of the realest videos on my channel when it comes to fashion simply because YouTube is all an illusion okay um, putting together lookbooks and stuff like that it is so unrealistic I don't know about you guys, but I do not, except for you, except for doing it for you. I don't do these fancy lookbooks just for the heck of it. I do it because you guys have asked for them. Now, try on hauls are definitely way more realistic. You can see how the item looks straight out of the package and how it, you know, my reaction and stuff. Love those. That's why you've been seeing a lot of those on my channel. But lookbooks, I've strayed away from those just because honestly, it just takes way too much time and it's like styling a full on photo shoot. Um, that's not realistic for me. I have like, you know, a whole job, side business. I run YouTube and do other things as well. So um, what I am going to show you guys is how I kind of create my casual lookbooks. And when I mean lookbooks, it's kind of like I try on new pieces. I have a ton of clothes, you guys, a ton. And I'm always getting in new items, whether they be uh, PR or whatever have you. So what I like to do is take a little bit of time when I'm just feeling, you know, really girly and I just throw on a good movie or some good music and I try on some things and I kind of pair them up as to how I would wear them. A lot of the times when I do see a piece, um, I'm, I immediately think of how I would like to wear it or I can already see kind of like a vision. So I do like to take the time to kind of try on pieces and pair them up, see how they fit. And I take a picture with my camera phone and I sometimes just print that, print that picture out using my HP sprocket. And it's just like little sticky photos and it's, it makes everything so much easier because I just stick those on my bulletin board or you can have like a little photo album, however you decide to do it. You can also just keep it in your phone, but I need the space because I'm always taking selfies and stuff like that. But um, I like to print those pictures out and I have outfits kind of already ready to go. First of all, it helps me not to forget what I have. I know it's sad but this is what I do. And it also helps me for like, if I have a last minute event or, you know, let's just say my girlfriend's calling like, girl, let's go to the Beyonce and Jay-Z concert on a uh, Tuesday. I'm ready to go. And that's exactly what happened. Okay. So I was able to just kind of pull from my little pictures and throw together an outfit right there. I did it on my lunch break and it was easy to go. So this may help you guys as well. I don't know. This is just my process, but this is how I do it. So if you are interested, then stick around. So right now I have like pretty little thing. I have like this random dress that I got from New York. I was in New York in May, you guys like I know it's been a minute. I also have another bag of stuff from Pretty Little Thing that I have not tried on. Um, I have this cute top that I've had for like a year and I've never worn it. So it's time to kind of style this up, pair it with something that'll be cute. I also have this denim jacket from my clothing store, which is newnoir.com. Check us out if you have not. Um, this is on the website right now and it is a vest as well as a jacket. I need to style this up because I want to wear this, um, you know, as soon as it gets cool enough because it's burning up right now. But I want to style that up. So I'm just going to try on some stuff, show you guys. And I always have a pair of shoes that can kind of go with any and everything just to give me the height because I'm always going to probably wear a heel um, and it's just going to give me that height I need. I wouldn't wear these shoes with these outfits necessarily but it's just something that kind of match with everything and give me the height that I need. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay so this first piece I actually picked this up in New York and this is made by Religion and it's an extra small but look how big this is. It's supposed to be a shirt but clearly I'm going to wear it as a dress and I thought it was just such a cute statement piece. It's so good. And I paid $54.99 for this. This was originally $310. I got this from um, Century 21, I think it was the name. So here is a super cute little look. And I really don't even have to button it. I can already tell you I'm totally here for this. 
So <laughs> this is a look that I could easily wear with these clear shoes that I have on. These are just some clear slide in mules, but I probably would do this in the fall because it is kind of warm. It's kind of thick, um, probably with some thigh high boots or even again, a barely there sandal. I could do a silver sandal or something like that. But look how cute this is like perfect for an event. And I would definitely save this for fall. But I could also do, I don't know, like denim shorts underneath here or something. So I'm super loving this. I'm so, I haven't even tried this on. Like I got this um, May, I think, when I was in New York. So this is definitely a keeper. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo. Cause girl, I can't wait. As soon as it gets cool. I'm gonna be wearing this. So I just took my little photo. And yeah, this is gonna be a whole look. I could also throw this on with some boyfriend jeans too. Let me try that and see. I just can't, like, it's so cute. So y'all gonna see this mess behind me because I'm telling you, realest try on ever. <laughs> All right, let's see. Y'all know these are my favorite boyfriend jeans from Express. Let's see. Let's put the heels back on. So you always want to keep the little heels that kind of go with everything because that way you can really get a true vibe. But you can see I'm not about to like fully find a whole look for this. This is okay. It's cute. It's not needed though. But if I wanted to, I could pair it with jeans. Not necessarily needed, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo just in case, because it may spark another idea later on. And that's the thing, that's why I love the photos, because when you think of something like today, you may not remember that a month from now. You know what I mean? That same kind of concept. So I'm just gonna go ahead and photograph this because I do like the edginess that it gives, but it does look really heavy but this may be perfect for winter. And the photos don't have to be perfect, y'all, because it's just for you. All right. On to my next piece, honey. While I'm at it, I figured I might as well try on this jacket. This is like a mauve corduroy jacket, kind of lavender mauve, but it has rose gold buttons, and I just thought this was super cute, and it's cropped. I don't do well with crop because my stomach is big, and I have a short torso, but I just thought it was super cute. If anything, I could just wear it slouchy, but like off my shoulder. Let's see. Okay. I mean, you know, it ain't bad, but I feel so little Kim in this. I'm here. But yeah, I would probably kind of, probably off the shoulder it a little. I don't know. Cause that cropped on me, is just not the bomb. I gotta figure something out. But this is how I wear it, just with jeans. I mean, it's cute. This is something different for me, out of my comfort zone for sure. But I love the color. I'm here for it. I don't know, I'm here for it. This is something that the pictures, like when you take your pictures, this really helps because I would never throw this together. Okay, and I know it's just jeans and a jacket, but I would just never with this because this is not my silhouette. So this will probably just be stuck in the back of my closet and, and never worn. But now that I have a photo, because I'm about to take one, because it's, it's not bad. Yes, 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 yes. Um, now that I'm about to take this photo, it's going to be a look that's in, you know, can stay in the front of my brain. So... I'm liking it. I can't wear it off the shoulder how I want to and it still kind of show. The sh I don't know. It's a little weird. But this is super baggy and I love it. I love how comfortable this is. Maybe with a skirt. Like a denim skirt. But I don't know. I kind of like the, the looseness at the bottom. Kind of balancing out the looseness of the top of the jacket. So let me just go on and Take my photo with this. Cute. I just love this color. How cute is this? They had other colors too. I think white and I really love the white, but I feel like I always get black, white, and gray stuff. So I said, why not just add something cute 
and different. It's so it's so cozy. Love this. So I do want to kind of show you guys the setup of the HP sprocket. It's super easy. I've already loaded my paper in here. Um, but when you go through and you add that app on your phone, it will go through each step for you, which is super easy. You want to make sure your sprocket is on. I'm not sure if you can see, but this white light is on. It does come with a USB cable cord for you to charge it. You can charge it in one of those little cubes in the wall or just plug it into your computer and charge that way. So now I am going to turn on my phone and it says it's already on because I have my Bluetooth on. You probably can't tell, but it says Sprocket would like to communicate with the HP Sprocket photo printer. So I'm gonna say allow. So now it says printer is connected. Make sure your Bluetooth is active and device is powered on. Done. It's gonna ask you to access your camera. So you wanna say okay to that. And it would like to access your photos. I'm gonna just go ahead and say okay. And access your location. I don't want that on. And it, will, it wants to send me notifications. I don't want notifications. <laughs> so, here we are. So look, you guys, here are all the photos we took today. And you can take a photo directly from the app or pull up a photo that you actually just took. So here is my photo that I took with that cute little mauve jacket, okay? So I'm gonna click this middle button here and it's sending to my printer. It does take a little time. But you can hear it's very low sound though which i like and one thing i love about this guys is the quality is pretty decent okay it looks pretty much how it does on my phone look oh it's so cute and here you can see my photo how cool is that you guys and it has a peel stick on the back so you can peel it and stick it in like a little book or you can put it on like a cork board like i do okay y'all so this next shirt is something totally different um i got this shirt from asos i want to say like a year ago and i've never worn it i only picked it up because it was like ten dollars and i just thought it was such a statement piece you guys know i always love like a just exposition when it comes to clothes so i love how this is like a baseball type of tee but it has these huge tool sleeves like how freaking cute is this the colors are unconventional i mean you have like this golden color kind of like a cheerleader um band i don't know if you were a cheerleader but you know that material and then it's just like gray so i just kept on those um boyfriend jeans and it looks super cute just like this this is a whole look like I'm super laid back, but I'm still giving drama and that is exactly what I like to do. So I could also see this with um, some regular skinny jeans. If you really are going to like a game and you still want to kind of do your girly thing and just throw on some high top converse. Like how cute would that be? I don't feel like getting my skinny jeans, but I can already see the vision. As soon as I put these two on together, I see that I could do it dressed up so I can go for drinks in this. Or if I'm going to like a game or something, throw on some skinnies and some Converse and I'm good to go. I love it. Oh, this is a winner and she takes a photo. See how I like it. Do I like it tied? No. So I like it just super laid back and let the sleeves just kind of do what they want to do. So I got my photo and I just love it. It's good to go. Now this is not gonna be available, you guys. It's not really like a try on haul per se, but if stuff is available, I'll try to link it, okay? All right, so I have these sequin bell bottoms <laughs> from Pretty Little Thing. They are super shiny. Um, I don't know about these now. This may not be a look, like I like how sparkly they are. Let me throw my heels on. Y'all know Pretty Little Thing, sorry. Pretty Little Thing always has like the longest freaking pants. So if you are tall, they are for you, honey. These are weird, though. I hate pants that fit like this. Size up in these if you do. All right, so obviously I probably wouldn't wear it with this white um, Adidas t-shirt. But I do kind of like how it looks with a t-shirt. So let me try on. I have like a um, Metallica t-shirt. Let me try that and see if I like it. 
these are not the most flattering. I mean, they're cute. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let me try it on with another shirt. Okay, so this shirt, I mean, I know I'm showing y'all a lot, but real deal, Holyfield. So this shirt is uh, a Metallica shirt that I got from Topshop, I think. And of course, I will wear a bralette underneath here, but I'm thinking I'm feeling the vibe with a bralette, obviously, and maybe if I tied it here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I want to wear these. Oh, let's try denim. I'm going to try denim. I'm going to try denim now. Okay. So it's getting better. I'm not mad at this. I love this jacket. This jacket, you guys, is from my store, newnoir.com. And I just love this jacket. It's kind of like a Margiela inspired look. And you can remove the sleeves. But... If I just like rolled up the sleeves, I don't have a shirt on underneath. I could do a tank top, probably would, but ooh, how we feeling? I think it's a look. Definitely for when it gets a little bit cooler, but I'm here for it. Definitely taking a photo of this and my hair would need to be up or back in a ponytail or straight like this, but like behind my ear because it's so structured. But yeah, let's take a picture. Oh, I love it. So anyway, but that's my, uh, that's how I like to do like super fancy pieces. I always like to add something that makes it not so fancy. That's just my thing. So I'm loving this. And I could fasten it here too, but I don't like that. I like a little bit of the belly peeking. Super cute love it okay so this is just a dress that i've never tried on that i've had for a little second i got this from pretty little thing and it's a little snug i mean it's, it's not tight but like down here you see how it doesn't like cross over but maybe it just needs to be steamed properly let's see i don't have anything lavender so i decided to try something a little different it's not bad it's not bad definitely with like some silver shoes or even silver ankle boots because it has that cargo vibe so i could also do it with like ankle boots to kind of edge it up a little bit or throw some jeans on under it all about throwing jeans on and it's comfortable like a satin super comfy super comfy you know i gotta throw some jeans on just to see though always throw my jeans okay the jeans are a definite no <laughs> so glad i tried that because mm -mm. no so it looks super cute as a dress and we'll leave it at that because this ain't cute with these jeans yeah x nay this <laughs> the first look was much better probably with some like lace up uh silver sandals i can totally see that super sexy giving you know inspector gadget vibes honey i like y'all why you can't never find your white or your basics when you need them i mean maybe it's just me but i had to throw on a white tank dress <laughs> just to get to see if i would like this but i know i'm going to i know i'm going to oh i'm obsessed this color though look at this yes 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 i love it can't wait. Yes. Am I the only one who does this? Like, I get super excited because it's like stuff I done already thrown together. Super easy, but it's like even less thought that I have to put into stuff in the morning or for an event or whatever. I don't know what this is in my hair. But yeah, honey, I'm loving this blazer. I cannot wait wear this okay so y'all know how i feel about a good wrap top now this one is a bodysuit so i hate bodysuits on me but because this one had the wrap top i thought maybe it could work so i'm just gonna try this and see with the high waisted would it be perfect or would it look stupid bodysuits never do right now this is one of the most comfortable bodysuits i've ever tried on i will say that it's like 
it needs to come down more because you can see the transition mm, this is why i don't i don't understand why people love body suits maybe body suits just are not for my body type because they don't ever do me right. All right, guys. So I hope this video helped you get a little bit inside my head as to how I put together outfits. Um, in my head, the video went a little bit smoother. But when I get in that mirror, it's like you never know what's going to happen. Um, but that is kind of like what I do. I just take a little time out, whether it be on the weekend or, you know, sometimes I come home from work and I'm bored and... I may be inspired by something and I just want to kind of try on some pieces that I haven't worn in a long time or new pieces or whatever have you. And I don't just put together the full outfits or anything, but I just try them on, kind of get some ideas, take pictures and go from there. So I hope this helped you guys out. Maybe you guys could use this method when it comes to, you know, putting together your looks as well. And um, definitely check out the HP Sprocket. That is like the easiest way for me to print out those photos and I don't have to worry about using my printer ink because that stuff is super expensive. The ink already comes in the sprocket so there you have it and it already comes with some paper for you to use like the little cards for your pictures so that's why I like it because I'm able to like take the photos off of my phone. I have probably 4,000 photos in my phone so that helped because I was able to like push all those out onto photos so yeah you guys check out the description box for all links if anything is still available i'll definitely link it down below for you guys and i will talk to you on my next video bye